What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to our channel. If you guys are new, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss a video. A couple announcements. We are back on that YouTube grind. We're gonna be making videos two times a week, so make sure you guys uh, stay ready. We're gonna be trying to take y'all's game to the next level this summer, get you guys prepared for your upcoming season. Next is link in the description, but we have now um, created a little website, a little Shopify, uh, where you can get our programs, where you can get our merch, where you can get all of our stuff in one little location. So if you guys wanna support the G2G brand or you want one of our programs, our 30 day program, our vertical program, uh, I think we have a ball handling program coming out soon. All of that stuff is gonna be linked down one, one shop spot where you can get all of that. So for today's video, obviously the NBA draft just went down and uh, we're gonna go over the number one draft pick, Victor, whatever, however you say his last name. We're gonna go over his stuff um, and how you can add some of the skills that he does into your game uh, to take your guys' game to the next level. So here's a Victor workout. So a lot of the stuff that he likes to get into because he's tall, he's got a high set point, um, he's pretty good at handling the ball, but a lot of the things that I watch is he likes to play out of side steps and step backs. Um, so one move in particular that I saw uh, that he likes to do is out of this triple threat especially since he can actually handle the ball and he's so tall, people are worried about him getting downhill. So when he's in this triple threat situation and he does a hard pound dribble, the defense usually buckles. So if you guys are good drivers and can shoot it, this little pound sidestep might be a good move for you guys to work on. So I'm gonna show you here, you'll be in a relaxed position and then you wanna pound and drop your body so it makes it look like you're driving and then you'll sidestep over, pick it up, knock down the shot. Okay, so I'll show you guys about three or four reps of that. And then we'll show you guys that other side. So you caught it on a triple threat, you're relaxed, and then you pound, sidestep over, knock down your shot. Key here is if you're relaxed, hopefully your defender will be relaxed. And then when you do this, you're just trying to get them down in a defensive position and then get right up into your shot, especially if you're taller and have a high set point, you'd have no problem with getting this shot off, okay? Now, even if you're a smaller guard, obviously you guys know Damian Lillard does this move a lot. Your release will just have to be a little bit quicker. Pound, sidestep over, knocking it down. Show you guys one more on the other side and then we'll work on a different step back off of the between the legs. So one on this side, I'm just pounding it with my left hand. Pound, step back, knock down your shot. Okay, make sure you guys make about five to 10 on one side, five to 10 on the other side. Next thing we're gonna work on is a step back off the between into one dribble okay so him being taller obviously crossovers don't really work for him and neither do behind the backs crossovers are in front quicker smaller defenders are going to pick it and behind the backs usually raise his body so a lot of the moves that he plays out of are these like between back throughs steps in betweens okay so that's what we're going to start off with right here we're going to do two setup one two we're flipping our feet selling drive here we're going between our legs and then we're gonna take one dribble, step back, again, Victor's got that high set point so he can get these shots up over quicker, smaller defenders. So we're one, two, step between, one, step back, get out, knock down your shot. Okay, even, even being seven foot four, I know everyone who's watching this isn't seven foot four. He's gotta be really good at dropping his body. Even if you're smaller, six feet and under, same thing, when you go to this last between the legs, you can't get tall and then do your step back. It's not gonna work, it's not gonna sell drive. So you wanna be here and drop and see how low I get before I get into it. Then it really looks like I'm about to drive before I make that shot. Got it, so I'll show you guys one more. Making sure you're dropping, turning that inside shoulder so it really looks like you're driving. So setting up, set, go, drop that inside shoulder, get up out, knock down your shot, okay? Make sure you guys get about, again, five to 10 reps. If step backs aren't something you're good at, spend a little bit more time working on those. Okay, next one is we're gonna work on a transition finish I saw him do, which is a swing step, okay? Which you guys, if you've watched my channel, you guys seen it before. And John Wall actually made this swing step famous, but it's a good one for him. Obviously, you know if he's dribbling, in transition a lot, okay? And if you guys are taller players, you know what little guards are gonna wanna try to do. They're gonna wanna try to run through that ball and steal it, right? Instead of trying to go meet you at the rim and dunk on it. So being able to dribble hard and go around your back so you don't have to stop your momentum or change directions is really good as they run through. So we're gonna work on 
pushing in transition. We're seeing that little guard, he's coming to run through. We'll stop going around the back and then we'll finish our layup. Got it? All right, so we're pushing in transition. We see the guy coming. Hey! And then we finish at the basket. Obviously, if you're Victor and you're 7'4", you dunk it. But when you're my height, six feet tall, you're not always gonna be able to dunk it. Okay, show you guys one more. Key on this real quick, making sure your last dribble is protected by your left foot, right? If he were to, if he were to expose that ball out on his last dribble, that little guard's gonna run in and get it. That ball's gotta be really close to his left leg, and then he's immediately going around his back. Make sure you guys get about five reps each side. Last thing, and this will be like two or three things, just two or three options. Uh, a lot of the stuff that he did, I saw in his like highlights, is a lot of elbow catches, okay? So obviously that first one, if you're running, if they're running actions for you to catch that ball at the elbow, first thing you wanna do is probably look to shoot, okay? Second, especially if you're a good shooter, it's probably to look like you wanna drive, back him up and then shoot. And then second one, after we've done that, we jab, we're gonna shot fake, drop that back foot, and then go get to the bucket. So I'm gonna show you guys two of each. Spin it to myself, first thing I wanna do, look to shoot, got it, wanna knock down that shot. I'm having a inside, outside footwork, but you can also work on this from coming from different angles. So I may come from this angle, work on my front pivot, and then get into my shot, got it? So you guys can mix up what angle you guys are coming from, especially if you guys are bigger, taller. Okay, now the next one is I'm catching, right? I've already looked at the rim. Now I'm faking drive, coming back, and then knocking down that shot. Make sure that ball on your jab goes with you and your foot goes more forward, okay? More forward to get that guy to back up and then set him out, right? Back him up, get our space, knock it down, okay? Last one, if we get this man to back up and then he closes that space quick, we're here, we're gonna shot fake and then we're gonna attack low and get into a layup real quick, got it? So we can't shoot, we jab, shot fake, Yay! and then we wish we were seven foot four and could dunk it on somebody. No, we're jab, we're shot fake. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you go ahead and leave a like and a comment down what video you guys wanna see next, and we'll see you in the next video.